Next, we have the session, The Power of One Lifelong Learning, UNSDG4 by Fi Wang Nguyen. Fi Wang is currently an advisor to Project 844 under Ministry of Science and Technology of Vietnam on Startups and Innovation, board member of Asian Business Angel Network, chairwoman of Vietnam Angel Network, and is an angel investor with a portfolio of 24 companies. Over to you, Fi Wang, for your session. Thank you, Aprana. Hello, everyone. Um, in Vietnamese, we, we say Xin Chào, and it's 10.30 p.m. in Vietnam, so I don't know what to say, whether it's morning or good afternoon or good night. Um, but it's, um, it's my pleasure to be here today and to share with you my, a little bit about my journey. And as Aprana said before, I sit on the, um, the steering committee of the Ministry of Science and Technology of Vietnam. So I have been involved in um, startup and innovation for the last five years, helping to build the startup and innovation ecosystem for Vietnam, as well as for the ASEAN region, because we also found um, the ASEAN Business Angel Network with about 5,000 members, and we actively invest into startups across the region. But on that particular journey of building the startup and innovation ecosystem and in the journey of investing into various startups across the region, um, I find one uh, little uh, pain point, which is everyone is, or every government in the region is basically very much focusing on promoting startup and entrepreneurship and, and mostly at the um, university level uh, onwards um, to the to professionals. Um, but to me, uh, for an ecosystem, uh, especially an innovation ecosystem to be sustainable, um, you need to look at um, you know, uh, people, HR resources, and you need to look at how you can build the next generations of innovators, um, how you can start from the root and start talking about innovation and creativity and, and entrepreneurship and sustainability at a very young age, probably from uh, primary school onwards. Um, so this is one missing link in most of the ecosystem that, that I have been worked with. Um, and um, so I, I've, I've taken um, one step ahead and talked about this, this pain point with a lot of um, government agencies as well as um, a lot of institutions across the region. Um, I have to say that there are various um, initiatives in, in helping people to keep up with the rate of development uh, of the 21st century. And everyone is talking about leaving no one behind, but what does it mean? And how do you do it? How do you not leave anyone behind if there are not enough initiatives in terms of education for the community and for the citizens of, the, of each country? Um, so what I would like to do today is just very quickly uh, share with you some of the initiatives that I have taken um, on the basis of a personal journey and use it to influence um, government agencies in Vietnam to start um, taking the, um, the next steps um, in, in uh, investing into sustainability for the innovation ecosystem. Um, so if no one is talking about it, why not me? Um, I, take, I took the responsibility and um, I think within four years, I have published about eight different books on the subject of lifelong learning, on uh, future of work, future of skills. Um, and um, all of a sudden from an, uh, an angel investor, I became um, uh, the best selling uh, author in Vietnam for some reason. So now a lot of people recognize me as a writer more than an investor. <laughs> but that's to say that, you know, there's a lot that you could do um, using your own power to actually influence the ecosystem. So since I started writing, a lot of other entrepreneurs started writing as well. And now there is the whole um, um, education uh, agency in conjunction with, uh, formed by the government in conjunction with um, a lot of media um, to promote lifelong le learning um, through different channels and also to promote um, writing from um, entrepreneurs so that they can share their stories and share their points of view, their perspectives for, for everyone to actually learn from. Um, and then I thought, okay, so I wrote, um, what about I do something else because we're li living in an in a online world and um, for some time 
in the past two years we were stuck at home. So okay, let's let's you know put together a blog, and so I wrote blogs and I uh, created e-learning courses about ten of those um, on on my blog, um, and also podcasts and uh, share it for free to the community um, with with a lot of surprise. Um, within four months of establishing the blog, um, you know my my blog members reach about 1.7 million. Um, so that's to say that a lot of people want to learn. It's just that they don't know how they can actually um, access the information or the knowledge that they would like to have, especially knowledge that uh, people in the innovation world or the technology world um, can hold. Um, so courses like agile mindset, like um, how to manage yourself in the, in the changing world of technology, um, like how to be more human in uh, a technology world of AI and robotics. Um, so those are courses that, uh, that I put on for free to the community and, and it created, uh, created a lot of buzz in Vietnam. Um, I open it up for all uh, the institutions um, to, to have the material for free. Um, and a lot of the big corporations also ask if they could have this resource to, um, to help their, um, their current employees um, to, to learn and to unlearn and to upskill. Um, so that's creating um, a lot of uh, buzz in the market for upskilling, for learning, for um, uh, future of work and future of skill and also lifelong learning or non-traditional ways of learning. And so I said, said to myself, and I shared with you before, we talked about innovation and startup, and yet we're not doing enough for the educational system, as, especially in public schools. Um, and to change a, uh, an official education system uh, of any government is a really difficult job. Trust me, I have tried it and I have actually put my head against the wall so many times. So I said, okay, um, if that's the case then let's do something different. Um, so I started, I founded this project called Library of Dreams. It's basically a library for uh, primary and secondary school kids. Um, and it's all, all the books uh, basically on uh, creativity, innovation, um, and imagination so they so that they can be you know just just like sowing a seed about innovation and creativity in the kids minds so that they can start learning from a very young age and become uh, innovators in the future um, so to date we had opened 90 different uh, libraries in 90 different um, primary schools around the country and our goal is to establish 1000 libraries um, in Vietnam across uh, different regions so that all the kids can get access to learning uh, about innovation and entrepreneurship from a very young age. Um, so this particular project is now um, uh, so founded by, by, by myself, but now has become um, a uh, government funded project uh, because of the effect that it has brought to the society. So that's another initiative um, that, that I founded. And so I, then I said to myself, okay, so primary and, and secondary school kids, they got access to the innovation libraries. What about the, the teenagers and the, and the tertiary um, students um, who, you know, um, who, who wants to, who don't, who, do, who don't want to just stay at home and read and want to do something and want to actually participate in projects and want to participate in society. Um, so I said, okay, let's found um, uh, social innovation incubation programs for these kids um, and teach them stuff like design thinking, um, stuff like um, project management, uh, stuff like entrepreneurship, uh, like presenting, like um, you know, getting people to invest into their projects. And these are all social projects, right? So the kids, um, when they get into the program, they uh, basically go through a seven month of incubation, very, very intense, like a startup incubation program. Um, and all they do is they, they, they go out and find 
a pain point in the society that they would like to solve. And then in teams, they come back and they work, um, work out their solutions or ideas, um, uh, especially uh, with the involvement of technology so that they can uh, solve a certain social uh, pain point. Um, we have run in total of three seasons, so with about 6,000 kids. Um, and um, believe it or not, uh, our top three in, uh, in this program has been uh, gaining awards at the uh, National Innovation Program going past all the startups, startups, startup, real startups um, in, in the market. Um, and um, all the judges, when they see these kids like from 12 years old to 16 years old, um, presenting their solutions, their innovation solutions for social problems, um, they, get, they get very amazed. Um, so uh, after three seasons, this program is now uh, adapted by uh, the um, Department of Science and Technology and also the People's Committee of Ho Chi Minh City um, to launch it as an official uh, citywide uh, initiative for all the kids in uh, secondary and tertiary schools. So that's another way for the kids now to, and the, the teenagers now to go out and learn um, uh, and be adapted to the, um, to the unknown future in a very different way. And also sow the seed for themselves to start learning themselves, to start solving problems while they are learning instead of just learning knowledge academically. And so, of course, I'm an, an investor. So I have to talk to myself and say, okay, how do I contribute to lifelong learning and sustainability by investment? Um, and so these are some of the um, startups in my startup portfolio that I have invested in. Um, so Arki is a um, uh, innovation um, education uh, program that helps kids and young people and also big corporates to, to actually solve issues using design thinking. Um, I also invest into um, a company called Hecate, which is an AI startup, and uh, they use natural language processing. Um, and we, had, um, we have a, um, a virtual celebrity uh, for using our AI, talking to kids around Vietnam and answering all the questions that they may have about anything that they can't talk or ask anyone else in life. So this is um, a, um, an AI that's now uh, that has now been speaking to around 15 million kids in Vietnam within the past four years, believe it or not, 15 million. Um, and we have active users um, almost um, a few million active users at the time talking to this AI. Um, so um, apart from knowledge, we are now also uh, uh, trying to collaborate with other institutions like arts, music, um, dancing, and uh, get the AI to actually also uh, help the kids to learn different arts and, and different courses. Um, using uh, the AI power that it currently has. Saudio is a startup that uses podcasts and sound to actually help people learn. So now you know that people all learn by bite size and, and by listening when you're driving and when, when you're actually exercising. So uh, this is another startup that I invested in just to bring learning to your ears um, anytime that you would like. And then Vietgrow um, is a startup focusing on um, um, training, uh, providing training, anything relating to the future of work and future of skills, everything concerning innovation. So, so uh, as an investor, I, I uh, basically do that just because I know um, that you know one thing is never enough, and uh, if you uh, talk to people and try and, and get people understand and people don't really understand and you probably have to do it yourself. And um, so I truly believe that, you know, with your passion, with your 
um, responsibility with your aim to move everything forward. Um, there is always the power of one. If you start something and you actually uh, commit to it, then it will become powerful. And at some point, people will start listening. The government will start listening and we will probably hopefully have a better word that way with the power of action of every one of us. Um, so uh, thank you very much for having me today. Um, and I'll leave you with one sentence, one last sentence. Um, I always remind myself, if there's none existing, found one and make it sustainable. Thank you so much. Ivan, this is amazing. 15 million. It's amazing. You have really inspired me and I'm sure a lot of others uh, yeah. to become investors. I mean, <laughs> loud what you said. If no one is taking responsibility, let me take the responsibility. <laughs> I, I think if everyone listening to the session does that, that itself can create a ripple effect. And listening to your story gave me goosebumps. Real, this is real giving back to the community. Let's keep inspiring people and let's make sure that we literally leave no one behind. Thank you so much for joining us and inspiring us today. Thank you.